Why, hello everybody, so welcome to another The Author. Today we'll be talking about a review on Chaos Ball Miniatures and also the theme of how I painted these three ringers. So, let's get right into it. Uh, the first thing about um, the miniatures in terms of Kumini and Knots, Chaos Ball Miniatures is, for what they're trying to do, fantastic amount of detail, considering that they are doing this for people who don't want to do anything with the miniatures to basic people who want to paint it to ridiculous levels of painting. So, for that new amazing detail, amazing fine detail, I must add. Um, also, the modes are very distinct and clear, for the most part. And there's many little details, especially on the sneakers. Um, I must say, um, I feel the sneakers might have gone a bit too far, but for the amount of detail you get and how much you pay, I think the miniatures are quite well done. That being said, from a painting perspective, um, these are not, I would say, these should not be your first few miniatures to paint for Chaos Ball, basically. And the reason why is because, again, the problem is because they're straddling both customer bases. First things first, everything is molded in one piece. That's very obvious. Alright, everything is molded in one piece, except for maybe like the Godzilla miniature and all, with the tails and all being put together later on. For example, with the Rumble Fist miniature, um, which is this guy here, the Bruce Lee miniature basically, he's molded in one piece, and then he's stuck on the base. Now this creates some problems. One is because it's molded in one piece, and Kumini Not is a great company. The flash lines sometimes um, is kept thin, but the flash lines can be as thin as the detail sometimes. Especially with the Godzilla mi miniature with so many ridges and all. So when you're fouling these miniatures, it's actually you have to be supremely careful because if you put too much um, strength into it, you will literally shave off detail. So that's one issue. Um, unlike with 40k, because it comes with so many different pieces, the mold lines and all, um, you can deal with it on the sprues and all that, and the angles are easier to f basically clean up. The cleanup work for Chaos Ball miniatures is quite tedious. The other thing is because it's stuck on the base. Now you can argue that why not you just cut it off the base, but I'm doing this as commission work, so he wanted everything as is, and so I've, you know, I'd rather have kept everything just as is. So if let's say you're like me and you don't want to cut it off, you have to paint every. You imagine when you clean the mold lines, you have to go in between the legs, and that is hard because trust me, even with the smallest of files, you have to turn these turn these things upside down at weird angles, and when you paint even. Here's the thing, because it's on the base, can you imagine just trying to get that paint line straight and not spread to the the yellow, not into the black? So you'd, it's a lot of weird angles you have to go through in um, Chaos Ball Miniatures. Alright, so paint, and this is, I, I, I don't know how, how to explain this, but somehow paint catches differently on these miniatures compared to Games Workshop Miniatures, like 40k, Space Marines and all. I don't know why it is. Um, I'm guessing it's be somehow the Games Workshop miniatures just seem a bit more smooth. Uh, this one just seems to be a bit more, it, how you say, the texture is a bit different. Therefore, if you're not careful because the detail is so fine on these miniatures, especially with, again, the Godzilla one, you could easily um, just paint away your details in these miniatures. So, you have to be pretty careful. So, basically, in conclusion, it's, it's great miniatures, uh, great detail and everything, but I definitely would not make these your... F Chaos Ball miniatures would not be my recommendation for your first miniature painting jobs in terms of even like for the hobby because they are... the cleanup work and everything very, very much... It takes a lot of work, basically. But still, fun to paint. Um, so, let's get into the theme now. The first one, of course, is who I call Bruce Lee. Um, or he's called the Rumble Fist miniature, and basically I wanted to give him the iconic look of Bruce Lee, um, with the white singlet, the black pants, and all. Um, they gave these groove details, which I, I for me, if it was my own miniature, I would have painted it totally like black, and then with the white shirt and black shoes. But because I'm doing this for commission, I wanted to make it a bit more flashy because he'd be playing with his son and all. So. I kept that detail, but I still wanted to give it that Bruce Lee feel, right? So I gave him red shoes, alright, just to break up the miniature. Um, 
and I, I reverse the colors for the from the box art color because if I wanted to give the traditional Bruce Lee yellow yellow pants the yellow thing with the black trim it would look weird because you get white white on yellow just most of the time it doesn't work so that's why I reversed it you know to keep the traditional white and black of Bruce Lee but I broke it up by painting the yellow into the grooves basically and I wanted the iconic scene where he's being cut right you know he's slashed and he licks the blood and all that so that's what I did with this part alright now I wanted to make like, like somewhat shallow cuts so therefore when you've, you've seen blood on shirts and I always put pictures when I paint so I looked at quite a bit of blish, um, blood on shirt pictures um, the plasma that comes out of your body and all they kind of dry, blood dries in this weird way where the edges will turn blue first then after it turn, you know, when it, as it dries more and more it becomes this reddish brown then brownish red and then almost like a brown basically so I always see when like it's just been cut and it's been bleeding for a while alright so that's why I went with this miniature uh, that's basically the theme, it's basically Bruce Lee um, in my view and I'm quite happy with him alright in fact yeah I, I, like, I like this miniature a lot to be honest with you next we have Great Cthulhu now the Cthulhu miniature basically for me I wanted to keep it simple I wanted, to me Cthulhu is just a minute like he's an elder god and my whole theme towards painting all these things was people who play the game who who never who play who play this game who can look at it and go oh I, he knows about Cthulhu right he can instantly recognize him not just because like you know like not like a pink Cthulhu or something like that you know he instantly recognizes because the color schemes and all just like the Bruce Lee when you look at him you instantly think Bruce Lee so I painted I just wanted to keep him simple so I painted him in the traditional Cthulhu colors green with red eyes and yellow um, pupils with a white dot you know like and also I get, wanted to break up the miniature and because of the jersey um, the one in the box art is a yellow jersey and there's nothing wrong with that for me but I always felt like the best colors to match with green is always red and so it became like a Chicago Bull thing when I painted the red shirt then I thought you know Chicago Bull right? so I painted the white trim and then to break up the shoes basically I gave him a yellow trim at the side of the shoes so that's really my theme. This the Cthulhu major was just basically keep to the Cthulhu theme basically. So um very very nice to paint, basically. So there you go. So you just spin on that, wings and everything. So basically Cthulhu in the Chicago Bulls as I would like to say. It's how I thought about this. And for the little detail to break up the arms a bit, because when I looked at this miniature, I want if it was my own miniature, um I would have made it more Dark in a way because I will paste two heads on here with the spine sticking out. He's gra he like he grabbed fatality two heads, but uh, the person was going to play with his son and all, and he wanted to keep an original packaging. So I just basically broke up the miniature by making it because to me, in when I looked at this, also in the other way, I wanted it looked like he's casting a spell. So to me, he dipped his hands in some blood and he's closing and he's chanting a spell now. So that's how I looked at it. That's why I, I didn't want to do things where he, like, his hands were totally bloody and his blood splattered over him. Like I said, I wanted to keep it simple. And so basically Cthulhu in the Chicago Bulls casting a spell in the middle of the court. <laughs> there you go. That's that theme. And last is Godzilla. Now Godzilla... I, there were several versions of Godzilla I could base him on. I based him on um, the most current one, the 2014 one. And so basically, I guess I wanted to put the focus on Godzilla f on the miniature, uh, on basically the skin of Godzilla, not rather the jersey and everything. That's why I decided to choose dark blue. Because here's the thing there's no color that's darker than black. Alright, so. What I wanted to do was take away focus from the jersey and bring it towards the skin. Therefore, I chose a more, how you say, I, I, I wouldn't say, I would say like almost like a dullish kind of blue to take away, to take the attention away. When you look at it, you, your attention is like um, like taken to the skin and the claws and everything. That was what I was going for. Alright, put some PVA on his mouth so that I don't know where they can pick it up here, but then it's a bit shiny. And... Also, you must be wondering how can I only painted blood on one claw because actually this is a two-piece um, which I came up with when I painted the Bruce Lee miniature. I thought about this on the ride home when I got the miniatures. 
all right so it's basically you know if you see look at this scene it's basically bruce lee versus godzilla and you know godzilla had gouged claws into him and he's basically fighting so that was basically the theme so there you go that's my review on the chaos ball miniatures um, thus far and also the reasons how i painted these three miniatures so thank you very much till next word